Hello, my name is Lieutenant Commander Jim Landis and I'm the Senior Naval Science Instructor here at Sebastian River High School. Um, this is my fourth year here at the high school. I retired from the Navy after 25 years uh, of service. I was uh, enlisted for 11 years of those and commissioned for 14 years as a, as a pilot and uh, found my way here to Sebastian River High School in 2015. Um, as far as our UAS and Embry-Riddle dual enrollment program here, that we offer through the Navy JROTC program. Uh, we're pretty excited about the opportunity to offer our, our cadets um, two college classes currently. Uh, the first semester it's Introduction to Aeronautical Science, which gives students a really good handle or grasp on uh, the basics of aviation and flight to include um, aviation weather, aerodynamics, um, and other uh, structural parts of airplanes and things of that nature. Uh, students seem to enjoy that. Also in the second semester we offer a unmanned aerial systems course. Uh, that's the one that people have been hearing about and we have a couple of different types of UASs that we fly here. And we integrate flying into the coursework where students learn all about UAS systems, um, safety components, uh, ground stations, all kinds of different um, systems and supporting systems of UAS. Um, and then also we go out and fly uh, once a week where we get to do some hands-on kind of lab time, um, have a little bit of fun flying uh, the UASs as well. Currently we have, uh, well we started with around 10 students in the class, we've had a couple of transfers, uh, we're sitting at eight students now. Uh, we're hoping to have a full complement of students in the class within the next year or two, uh, and we see some growth there, that's our, that's our plan. Um, Regarding the type of students that we see, it, we really see kind of a variation in student interest. Uh, the classes, even though they're offered from Embry-Riddle and they are college level classes, they, they can be handled by most, uh, most high school, current high school students. I wouldn't say they're overly uh, demanding in that regard, but it does take a student who has the ability and the willingness to pay attention in class, take good notes, critically think about the information as well as engage with the information um, so that they're able to process the information and, uh, and pass the, you know, the test at the end. One other additional requirement or uh, opportunity I should say for students in the UAS class is that they have an industry certification at the end for uh, a small UAS safety officer is the name of the uh, industry cert. So uh, that's another great benefit of earning an industry certification. That's pretty much your first step in uh, your journey of learning uh, how to be a commercial unmanned aerial system operator. So you, know, you start with the small systems and get bigger and bigger. Um, and it's your very first check in the block for uh, meeting the, your requirements to fly commercially with UAS, which uh, is growing significantly and will continue to grow and be uh, an actual career path for students now, uh, a career path that it wasn't available to people like myself when we were uh, in high school. So we're pretty excited to offer that to our students here and hope to see uh, lots of students signing up and coming on out and, and giving, it, uh, giving it a try.